feels good, man. <laughs> we found our 10 most expensive cards. And number 10 is a Gold Star Pikachu, $2,200. Nine, and it is the Championship Arena from the, the World Championships in 2005, $2,500. My name is Pierre Isai Nielsen. And I'm Jens Isai Prehn. And we just broke the record for largest collection of Pokemon cards. What you see here is a curated selection of the most interesting cards. And the rest are in the binders. Yeah, and actually some in the boxes on the floor. <laughs> that as well. Each binder is a, a series of cards. Normally they're releasing around four sets a year. And with 25 years with Pokemon, it's 100 binders. Shining Charizard. It's shining, that's always a good combination for expensive cards. It's around $3,500. Vaporeon, this one is in a perfect condition, roughly $3,500 as well. Just like everything else, Pokemon cards gain value by supply and demand. But over the past few years, uh, cards have exploded in price. The base set, the first row here, Vaporeon is my favorite Pokemon. We needed one card, this Moltres here, and we spent a lot of money getting that card and uh, our parents were not very happy. We were told to stop using money on Pokemon cards. It didn't go quite that way, but number six, we have another gold star, Kyogre, as close to perfect condition as it can be, 3550. Number five, Tropical Tidal Wave, promo card you got in the World Championship in 2005. There's only four graded 10 in the entire world with around $5,000. When do you know if a card is legitimate? Once you've had the first million cards in your hands, you just feel it. It feels off as soon as it touches your hands. A real card will have a black layer in the middle. Yes, and if you rip it, it's quite easy to see the black layer if you know what you're looking for. But we don't recommend you ripping your cards to find out if they are fake. Number four, World Championship card in 2017. It has the champion stamp on it, uh, around 5,000. Another Vaporeon. So it's the first edition jungle version, around $7,000, $7,500. Generation 2 was released. They made variations of, of Pokemon, the shiny Pokemon. This Voltorb that is normally white and red. Ponyta, it's my all-time favorite shiny, I think. And the one I have used a lot of time trying to get in the video games. And yeah, it, it just wouldn't happen. <laughs> I really spent many hours on that. The way they do Dittos, there's a different Pokemon on the nine different cards because Ditto can transform into any Pokemon. They get these beat-like eyes. So the face is wrong, but it's a Pikachu, but it's a Ditto card. Another gold star given to participants in organized plays back in 2005. This was the first expensive card I bought. It wasn't as expensive then, but right now it sits at around $15,000. And number one of the list, it's another fan favorite, uh, at first edition Charizard from base set, and it's shadowless, <laughs> and graded nine, goes for around $20,000. So that's the top 10. It's surreal to have this certificate. Yeah, we have been working to reach this goal for so long, and now we actually reached it and it's so cool. <laughs> We're not done. No, nope, not at all. But we will return with the 30 years anniversary and see if we can break our own record.